Hello, I'm Graham Horton and welcome to this video. Now in this video we're going to be talking about speed boosters or focal length reducers. Whichever term you like to use, it's fine by me. So as usual with these series I've produced another handout for the mount adapters or speed boosters. You'll find it in the download section of my photographic blog and I'll put a link to that in the description of this video below. So if you wanted to uh, download this and follow along with the uh, presentation. A lot more information there about the maths of some of these calculations as well just to show you some of the advanced features of the speed booster stroke focal length reducers so focal length reducers speed boosters are there to provide a means of adapting full frame camera lenses to uh, a cropped sensor body so here you can see i've got a eos m system and a micro four third system now with this system you can use standard adapters which have no glass in them which will allow you to use uh, full frame lenses such as this Canon uh, 24 to 105 millimeter lens or the Nifty 50 on the ESM or on the uh, Micro Four Third system and this one's the Panasonic GX8. So you can actually use any of the Canon lenses on the uh, Micro Four Thirds or the ESM They've got full electronic aperture control, so you can actually use them and use a focus system. Uh, it's essentially you using Canon lenses with the full control on your Panasonic system or the EOS M system. But the effect of using those full frame lenses on those cameras is that you are getting a crop factor multiplication. So in the case of the Canon EOS M6, it's a 1.6 times magnification, and on the case of uh, Micro Four Thirds, you're using a two times crop factor. So the 24 to 105 becomes a 48 to 210 mm lens, and the Nifty 50, say on the EOS M, will become an 80 mm lens. Now that might be an advantage in some situations, but if you're a landscape photographer, you don't want that increase in focal length. So by using these focal length reducers, which have a glass element in them, if I show you the Micro Four Third system, you can see within there, there is a glass element system. And these reduce the focal length of the lens. They're effectively adding a uh, convex lens in the optical path. That convex lens reduces the focal length and I can give you a demonstration of how that works. So in this demonstration what I'm trying to show is the effect of the speed booster. So at the moment we've got the if you like the imaging circle of a lens projected onto our sensor and in this case the blue sheet of paper is going to be our full frame sensor and the yellow is our micro four third system. So you can see the center of the micro four third system is smaller than the full frame system. So the full frame lens projects an image circle which is sufficient to cover the diagonals of the full frame sensor. But if you look at the micro four third system, that's a crop of it, which is exactly a half or times two, giving you a times two focal length change. Now with a focal length reducer, we introduce a convex lens into the system. And you notice when I put this convex lens in the system, you notice that we get a smaller imaging circle. And by the correct uh, choice of magnification, and distance from the main lens you can see that we've now projected that circle onto the smaller sensor. So you can see the effective light is much brighter because we're concentrating the light into a smaller area and that's how you get the effect of a speed booster because we're getting more light from the same amount of light coming from that main lens. So that's how we get a decrease in the focal length because we've reduced the field of view. So effectively, the field of view has now shrunk from the full frame lens to the size of the imaging circle that we would normally have on the smaller sensor. So if I was to install this 50 millimeter full frame lens, 50 millimeter f1.4 on a Canon ESM system, it would become something like an 80 millimeter f1.4 lens as that's the nature of the lens. So you are getting an increase in uh, focal length by the crop factor of that sensor. Now if you were to use the focal length reducer, in this case it's the Viltrox uh, M2 which is a 0.71 times, that 
a 50 millimeter lens becomes a 50 millimeter lens on the EOS M system. So we're doing a 0.71 times reduction in its focal length. So where it would be 80 mils, we're now back to 50 mils but the effective aperture becomes effectively one stop less. So where this is a f1.4 lens, effectively it becomes an f1.2 lens when it's attached to this body in terms of amount of light gathering. You don't change the depth of field because the two uh, factors cancel out and depth of field depends on the entrance pupil divided by the focal lens. So if you look at the maths in my handout, you'll see why the effective aperture doesn't change the amount of depth of field you get by using a speed booster. So these adapters are fantastic if you want to adapt things like these uh, longer focal length lenses back to their native focal length when you use them on crop center bodies. Now that's ideal if you are a landscape shooter and still want the wider end of these lenses like 24 millimeters which you would lose if you were to put that on a standard adapter you go up to something like uh, 35 millimeters rather than your 24 so the speed booster gives you that advantage of focal length reduction and a brighter image as well On the screen you'll see a couple of images I shot using the speed booster. You see there's no reduction in optical quality. You still get fantastic optical quality using these devices, but you are getting that reduction in focal length so you can reclaim the focal length of your main lens when it's adapted to a crop sensor body. And that applies whether it's ESM or the Micro Four Thirds system. You can actually use both. So that's it for the video. I hope you found that useful. And of course, if you're a new viewer and you're liking what you see with this channel and the handouts, why not hit that subscribe button? Now, I know from the actual statistics for this channel that over 70% of the viewers that watch this channel aren't actually subscribers. Now, if you were to subscribe and click that notification button, that would be fantastic for me to get the number of viewers up on the channel. It would be really, really appreciated if you would do that. So, until the next video, thanks very much for watching, please do take care, and I hope to see you all very, very soon. Goodbye for now.